Too many children are attending school hungry, according to one London council. Hammersmith and Fulham are so concerned that it's offering free breakfast and lunches to all primary pupils and some secondary school students. The costs will be covered by property developers in what is believed to be the first scheme of its type in England and Wales. Sonia Jessup has the story. On the menu today, fish and chips. Normally, parents would pay around £2.50 a day for this, but from January, it's free to everyone. These people think it's a great idea. Because some people can't afford to have um, lunches at school, so they have to bring their own lunch, but maybe they might not be able to bring their own lunch, so they won't have lunch throughout the entire day, and that can be really tiring on the, on the body. Maybe they'll in improve their concentration. That's going to affect on like, their grades, how good they're going to get at school and all that. This is one of two secondary schools which will take part in a trial providing free lunches. It's thought to be the first in England and Wales. The local council is also introducing free breakfast in all its primary schools. It says many teachers have told them pupils are going hungry. Sometimes staff have stepped in to feed them themselves. As a student that wasn't eating, we, we noticed that he was very lethargic in the afternoon and over a period of kind of observing him for a week, we noticed that he wasn't eating lunch. We also followed him throughout of the day and noticed that he wasn't bringing anything to eat from home and therefore, because he's not eligible for a free school meal, the school is currently providing a meal for him. Now, of course, some children qualify for free school meals, but the council claims many poorer families are missing out. Sometimes they say that's because of stigma, some families are ashamed to claim them, and sometimes that's because both parents are earning just above the amount they need to qualify for them, but they're still struggling. The council says there's been a steep rise in the number of local families turning to food banks. In 2014, more than 4,000 parcels were given out. Last year, it says, that soared to more than 11,000. So who will pick up the bill for free meals? The council says property developers will pay as part of the deal for being granted planning permission. The pilot will cost about £800,000 a year, but we're looking to extend that as quickly as we possibly can. We've already got, over the last five years, £643 million from our very hard-nosed negotiations with property developers, and we are confident we've got a lot more money coming in as well. The Department for Education told us it's supporting more than a million disadvantaged children through free school meals and that it wants schools to think about what more they can do. Here in Fulham, staff say free lunches will make a big difference with pupils healthier, happier and ready for their lessons. Sonia Jessup, BBC London News.